So this is exercise 10.3 using running fixes, question one, part B and part C. So what we're going to have a look at now is just another quick example. So we're looking at the Cape Brett light was at 230 degrees. So the first thing to do is find Cape Brett. So there, North Cape, Cape Ringer, Cape Brett. So here we are over here, Cape Brett. And it was at 230 degrees. So using our compass rows down the bottom, let's find 230 degrees. 180, 90, 200, 210, 220, 30. So 230 degrees. From the compass rows, now we're looking like we're in the middle, heading out 230 degrees. So when we get to Cape Brett, even though we're drawing back this way, which is a back bearing, we're assuming then we're somewhere on this line looking this way. We're looking this way to see Cape Brett. And our line might even need to be a little bit longer than that. Let's just hope we're not off the edge of the page. So we're somewhere on that line there. We're somewhere on here. Now, after we've sailed for 80 nautical miles at 283 degrees, it's now at 161 degrees. So let's look and find 161 degrees, 161 degrees, 150, 160, so 161 would be about there. Once again, through the middle of the compass rows to 161 degrees. Hold that rolling ruler steady and also the paper. If any of those move, just reset. So to the same lighthouse, so we are on this line here at the end. So once again, after we sail 80 nautical miles at 283 degrees, we're going to get to a position somewhere on this line. So once again, we have two different opportunities. We can say, let's find a 283 degree, we can, let's say, let's find a 283 degree line over here where the distance is 80 nautical miles or we can use our parallel lines. For this one I'm going to use parallel lines and I'm also going to use my protractor to find 80 degrees. As we discovered before, 35 to 36 degrees would be 60 minutes. Each one of these chits is 5 minutes and so we need one whole degree and, two, and four chits. So that's 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Bring it back. Okay, so that distance there, 80 nautical miles. Leave that there. We need to find now 283 degrees. So from the middle through to 283 degrees. There we go. Holding the roller a little steady. Rolling up, I can say that on that bearing, going this distance, oh, looks like we're a bit further away than what we've drawn. Let's just continue on our our line and mark from Cape Brett to there. So this here is our distance. So effectively that's the direction and the distance that we went and we started somewhere along this line here. Okay. So what we can do then is in parallel lines, which is handy because we have a, a rolling ruler which does parallel lines very, very easily. Drawing a parallel line parallel to our original destination, our original position Going through our final position and drawing back, we have a position where it crosses our final bearing, which is there. And then once again, rolling parallel to our original, sorry, our, our travel, we can then say that we started here and we went and finished here. And if we wanted to double check, we wanted this to be 80 nautical miles, so we went, we started here and we finished here. And that stayed the, exactly the same. So we've travelled 80 nautical miles, we started on this line and we finished off on this line. So those should be both our positions. Okay, 
Last one. Manukau Harbour Light was at 95 degrees after we sailed 60 nautical miles at 155 degrees. It's now at 17 degrees. So let's look at the first one. Manukau Harbour Light. Manukau Harbour, here it is down here. Manukau Harbour Light. So in other words, the lighthouse right on the tip of Auckland. Manukau Harbour Light was at 95 degrees. So using our compass rose through the middle. 1995. Okay, so we saw the light when we were on that line somewhere there. Okay, so we're on this line here, looking this way, and we saw the light. Then we sailed 155 degrees, and now it is at 17 degrees. So therefore, through the middle of a compass rose to 17 degrees is about there. way to roll into place. Once again, roll into place and through Auckland and extend all the way down that way. So we started off on this line and we're going to finish off on this line somewhere. Once again, what we're going to be doing is using our parallel parallelogram to bring our nautical miles sailing at 155 into position. So we sailed 60 nautical miles at, at 155 degrees. So using our compass rose, find 155 degrees. 155 degrees like that. So we're travelling somewhere along this line like this. So let's go from the harbour along this way. And we want to travel a distance of 60 nautical miles which is 60 minutes, which is one degree. So we set that to one degree and step out one degree. And that happens to be right on that mark right there. Okay, so one degree, sorry, 60 nautical miles stepped out. Now we need a parallel line parallel to our original bearing sighting. Okay, so we come back to here. Draw a line parallel to that until it hits our final bearing sighting. So in other words, this is where we are right now. And if we wanted to know where we were before, we would draw a bearing parallel to our direction, which would end up being a line like that. So using only one position, or using one bearing fix, but using time, we can say that we were here, and we now are here.